dissatisfied lifelong Democrats in Florida are rejecting their party's woke politics and turning to Governor Ron DeSantis instead. And one Democrat a consultant from the Sunshine State explains, there's a lot of denial and they act like it's only MAGA people. There are a lot of people who feel like this. Fox News contributor and Fox Nation host David Webb joins us now. Good morning, David. Good morning. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. More in my Christmas time. <laughs> I like Appropriately. it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what's happened down there? Democrats for DeSantis? Reality. What's happening is no matter how much the far left progressive Democrats and you look at the Val Demings race and others and Charlie Crist, who's been in every party, but the winning party for, for at least for his constituents have done is they've gone so far. They've lied about reality. You go further into the story, especially in Miami Dade, which is now turned around because of success and conservative policies. You know, you talk about a good uh, mayor in Miami, Francis Suarez, someone who has led the city from a business standpoint, they want reality, good homes, safe schools. They don't want to be told that they're Latinx. By the way, that doesn't really exist in the Latin community. Uh, and they don't want to be told how to think about any issue. They want to think for themselves in America. And they reject socialism. A lot of people, especially in Florida, have seen up close the evils of socialists and Marxist dictatorships in their own countries. You go down to Central and South America, look at who's in charge, and look at the failures. Why would they want that? Yeah, I've been saying for a while, I wonder where these true blue Democrats are going to turn when they have all these woke people in their party just going so far left. But I want to get to this. It's uh, about Stacey Abrams, her failed Georgia gubernatorial candidate. Uh, she's being criticized by Democrats for incredibly bad financial planning. So she raised all this money, this cash, over $103 million during this campaign. She wasted it on things like TikTok and then polling. But now she can't pay people back and she lost. Yeah, who's the biggest loser, by the way, <laughs> Stacey Abrams or Beto O'Rourke? Tens of millions, actually hundreds of millions between the two of them, and they both lost a little bit to that prior conversation about the progressive and woke politics. The thing is, she's a grifter. And this is what it is. She is grifted off of her donors. And look, if Democrat donors want to give Democrats lots of money, I'm all for it. Go ahead and waste your money. She pays her friend's law firm $9.4 million. She wastes $25 million on a losing lawsuit. She really never had a chance of winning. It was an Obama judge who actually ruled against her. And she takes the money, and she's worth, remember, $109,000 when she first runs for governor. Now she's worth probably somewhere north of $4 million. And where's the dollars? Where's the money? Where's the win? Where's the outcome? And she continues the woke progressive lies. Where did the money go? Listen, <laughs> we got to squeeze one more in because you spend time in New Jersey, right? So a New Jersey school district just reinstated a mask mandate for staff and students. What's happening there? What's happening there, they're literally trying to kill a generation of kids, not figuratively, not literally rather, but figuratively kill them. Think about what it means to develop in school. Think about what it means to really learn to adjust to others, social, you know, social development. What they've done in New Jersey is taken two and a half weeks to slow the spread into almost three years to literally slow down a generation of kids. They're not learning, they're not advancing, but the lesson may be in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, black parents, 63% of black parents, took their kids out of failed public schools and into black-run charter schools. Those are the ISD numbers down there. Passaic County uh, parents need to look the same, look for alternatives. And that's not over mass. That's over the education. That's over yeah. education, but the mass are part of it. This is this is a com combination of Randy Weingarten, uh, the Federation of Teachers, all of the unions, and their Democrat policies. Your child loses if your child can't communicate. Mm -hmm. Visual communication. You and I look at each other and said, Ashley, we we look at each other, we we talk to each other. If you take that away from a child. They don't develop into adults who can communicate properly. Yeah, it's not fair to this generation of kids, that's for sure. All right, David Webb, thanks for being here on set with us this morning. We appreciate Merry it. Christmas love time. Your Where are my Dr. Seuss ties? <laughs> hey, I there, love you know. it. Thank Great you. Stuff. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.